Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about SQL interview questions, one of the primary aspects in Tableau interview. Okay, so from this video, I'm going to post a few uh, of the uh, video series where we are going to discuss about SQL questions, okay, that are coming in the uh, Tableau interview. Okay, so stay tuned and let us get started. So for ease of use, I've, uh, I've written the questions on the screen. Like if you are attending interview or you are going to attend interview, these are some of the questions that you might have definitely come across. So let us try to answer one by them. How to find the duplicates in a table? Very important concept in real time as well, like finding or eliminating duplicates. So in this video, we'll focus on how to find uh, duplicates. Maybe in another video, I'll post a video where we'll see how we can uh, delete a duplicate. So first thing is, I'm using or considering uh, a standard table called as employee table here. And this is the data that we have. So we have got total 14 records. And here we have employee name, employee number, name, job, like that. Okay. Now suppose we want to find out a list of, uh, uh, like say, job will take consider for job now okay so list of jobs which are which are like duplicates here you say clerk is there salesman is there which is repeating and all so i want to find out so now what we can do so what i'm doing is select a job my field that i want to find if there is duplicate in there and count of star so which will give me count of number of times it has repeated from my employee table okay and group by on whatever the field that we have mentioned here that is job so i'm just specifying this so now if you see here we got analyst is repeated two times clerk has repeated four times manager is three times president has repeated uh, in the president is only one time and salesman is four now we need to find out uh, like <clears throat> more than one right so we can write it as having a uh, count star greater than one which will give us list of all the employees having this okay or like this you can answer okay so next is difference between a union and union or again very important concept okay in interview i think many of us have faced this question so for this what i'm doing is again i'm considering our select star from emp okay so let us run this for now. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking for now, I'm taking employee name here. Okay. So just to, or I'll just, okay, I'm taking employee name and I will run. Okay. And so how many records we got here? We got 14 records. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing a self join using union select, uh, sorry, union all. And I'm using the same thing here that we have here. And let us observe the difference we get. So first I will use union all and then I will use union. Now when I run this, you see number of records I got is 28, which means it is repeating each time here. You see Smith is there here and again Smith we have here and all. But which means it will have duplicates. But when I use union, it will remove the duplicates and it will have only distinct here. We have got only 14 like that okay so that is the difference between union and union or next thing here is find records in a table which are not present in another table so basically here we are doing uh, either a minus b or b minus a okay so difference between two tables that we want to find out so for this what i'm doing is i'm considering two tables here select uh, star from employee table and I am also considering our department table that we have. So select star from department table. Okay. So let us run this too. And this is how we have got. So if you see here, let us focus on department number here. So we have department number 20, 30, 10, like that and here we have department number 10 20 30 40 
okay now let us try to get the data for us so what i'm going to do is select start from employee table where department number not in so i'm getting select department number from department table so first what are we doing here first we are finding out what are the department numbers that we have in the department table and we are taking what is not in there okay so technically if you see 10 20 30 we have all but here we have 40 which means now we should not get any records let us see that a minus b we are doing let us do reverse of it now and see if it is working so we know that we have one extra department in department table 40 right so i am what i am doing is select star from department table this time okay where department number not in same but this time what i am doing select department number from employee table so from this employee table what all we'll get we'll get like say 10 20 30 okay so in this department table what all we have we have 10 20 30 40 so 40 minus 30 so only like uh, one is remaining we should get that let us see what is the result of this so we got that record so this way we can find out whatever the employees are not present in another table or how we can find out so okay so very important concept in interview so we might get you know uh, some question around this so next is find the second highest salary employees in each department again very important concept here with respect to you know, the finding the second highest or nth highest or third highest so one query will try to write and we can use it for any rank that you want to find out okay so for that what i'm doing is select star comma i'm going to find out rank now first okay so for that what i'm doing is i'm using a partition by function so rank okay rank over partition by so because we are using department so i'm partitioning by department here department number order by salary because we want salary okay and salary deciding here okay so let me close it here and i am going to call this as rank from employee table okay so let us see what is the result we will get now you see it is printing as the rank here okay so for department 10 5000 is rank 1 2450 is uh, second rank and 1300 is third rank now in department 2 you, you see rank uh, salary is repeating so what did uh, this query did it repeated the rank here one and one but it skipped the next rank but it gave third okay so now what we can do is instead of rank we can use a dense rank also okay so i'm going to use dense rank and i'm going to run it now now you see what is happening so for department town 10 1 2 3 we got fine for department 20 you see uh, so we got uh, 3000 here okay and we got two here which is not repeating here okay now let us try to get the second highest salary we, we need right so select star from i'm closing all of this and calling it as a where rn is equal to now you see for each department we got second highest salary okay so this way we can find the rank so whatever we need like third rank or fourth rank or nth rank or less than or two rank whatever we want we can achieve that using this function or this query so maybe you can you know mug up this very important question now next is find employees with the salary more than their manager again one important question where we want to find out salaries greater than manager okay 
let let us do that so for that what i am doing is again so select star from emp i'm doing okay emp e of uh, first uh, let me let me let me do that One second. So first I'm running this select star from EMP. So here, if you observe, we have employee number and manager. So these two, we need to first make a join to find out uh, you know, the correlation between them. I'm doing an inner join on that. Inner join. Inner join uh, employee. Uh, and on e dot uh, employee number is equal to um, m dot manager okay so let us bring in some columns here so what i'm doing is uh, e dot e name comma um, m dot manager e dot sal comma m dot sal as manager uh, mgr cell and uh, here uh, m dot knee name as manager name okay so i'm bringing in these columns here just for our understanding purpose here and let us run this so we got this record. Now you see, these are the managers, list of employees and their manager name and salaries for them. Now we need to find out list of employees whose salary is greater than their manager's salary. Okay, now what we can do is simply where E dot salary is greater than employee salary is greater than manager salary. Okay, so let us before we do that, let us find out how many we should get. So total fourteen we have. So this is greater. Okay, here manager salary is greater than the employee salary. So this should not come, and again this should not come, and here this should come. This should come. Okay, I think except this two, everything should come. So thirteen minus two is eleven. Let us see what is the count we get here. Even got less. So that's how we can find the list of employees whose salary is greater than their manager. Okay, so very important uh, SQL questions. I hope you find this video useful. If you find it, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.